We are now off to the Pacific Northwest to introduce you to the number six player out of the state of Washington. Rashawn Clark is set to make his college commitment live with us in minutes. But first, let's tell you just a little bit more about this prospect. He is our 21st ranked athlete in the class. He's a four star athlete with a 90 rating. So this is a spectacular talent. Now, he originally signed with Arizona in December, but asked out of his NLI after Jed Fish left for Washington. I told you you'd be sensing a trend here on the show. The Huskies are one of his finalists still, and he has not quite closed the door on returning to the Wildcats and sticking with Arizona. Before we bring him on, though, Huff, hype him up. What kind of player is Rashawn Clark? You know, he was one of the initial top 100 players in the 2024 class when we launched that thing three years ago. Player who had an offer as an eighth grader. He already had his first offer then as a defensive back. Now, I've always felt that defense was his position, but his heart was at offense. He had the opportunity to play in high school as a wide receiver. And because of that, Cal started to recruit him as a receiver. He committed to the Bears back in June and was going to play offense there. Ultimately, Arizona, John Richardson, the cornerbacks coach at Arizona, Jed Fish, convinced him to come to Tucson. He took an official visit and signed with Arizona, but they wanted him to play defense. He could play on either side of the ball. He could return kicks. He could return punts. When we saw him at the Polynesian Bowl last month, he was returning punts there. But he shined on defense, which is like I said you would, Rashawn, three years ago. I think this guy is a defensive back, and that's what he wants to play now that I think the further along in his high school career he gets and the closer to college he gets, he is now accepted fully that he's a defensive back. And I think he's one of the most electric DBs that you're going to find out in the West region. He is getting very close to college, and he's about to tell us where he's headed to school. So let's welcome on Rashawn Clark to the show. Rashawn, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot, Ms. Laura. Yes, we are so excited to find out where you're headed. But I've got to ask about this uh, crazy recruitment. We've talked to some guys about just the challenges of going through that coaching change after you've already signed. So what was going through your mind the moment that you found out that the guy that you signed to play for was headed elsewhere? So um, it was a lot. Um, I was getting off the plane. Um, I was going to Hawaii for the Polynesian Bowl. So it was a lot. Um, I got off the plane, the interviews, cameras, media, people. But, um, you know, it's all part of the journey, all part of the process. So I'm all for it. Well, all of that uh, craziness has made you arrive at this day. We're going to make an official commitment and sign on the dotted line. Rashawn, you have the floor. Tell us where you are headed to play college football. Okay, so <laughs> so uh, I just want to give a, a thanks to the man above. Um, I, I wouldn't be anything without him. Um, this is a true blessing. I'm beyond grateful to be in that position. Um, what a journey. What a journey, what can I say? Um, with that being said, um, next three or four years, um, go to dogs. I'm coming home. Um, yeah, go dogs. Nothing but love for the whole city of Tucson. Nothing but love, but go dogs. I love it. There you have it. Rashawn Clark is committed to Washington. Plans to play with them this fall and hopefully many years to come. Representing the dogs there. First, tell us, why'd you pick Washington? Um, ultimately, I just I just built a great relationship with Coach Fish, Coach Jay Rich, the the, the coaches that I, that were previously at Arizona that are now at UW. Um, I just I really truly believe what he did at Arizona, he will do at UW. Um, he's a great coach, and yeah, relationships matter in his business. Rashawn, you got your first offer from Washington back when Jimmy Lake was the head coach. You were recruited by Coach DeBoer. Now you're going to play for Coach Fish like you were planning to in December, but you're going to get to do it in your backyard, in your hometown. What does it mean, especially being the only in-state signing in 2024, what does it mean to be able to play your collegiate career in your hometown of Seattle? Um, it's a blessing because because it is a lot of love, I feel, from the city. There's, there's a lot of love. and I am so comfortable here. It's just, it's, 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 it's a true blessing. Like, I get to play in my backyard. I go to games. I go to all, most of the games. Like, it, it's crazy. And the love from the city, like, I really feel welcomed. And, like, I can really be me. Like, this is, I love it. And, and I have a great relationship with the coaches. So, it just makes it even better. Rashawn, for all the Washington fans watching, what kind of play are they getting? Um, a competitor, a leader, a ball player. Someone that's willing to do anything. Um, literally, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to win. I, I want to.
play best for, play, play best where I best with the team. Um, a, a, a true competitor, a, a dog, really. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I love it. Rashawn, thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of your big day. Go celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. You can read go more. <laughs> go dogs. He's getting very used to saying that. He'll be saying go dogs for a long time. You can read more about this latest ad at dogman.com. They are the place for all things Huskies.